All right. So, I know, Miss Penny. So, um, I said I was going to do another video with her walking, and I brought her out with a slip paint chain this morning. And, uh, <laughs> she kind of struggled. She, she wanted to pull. She probably was going back to what she was doing with you guys. Um, I know, I believe you had the prong collar, so... Um, didn't want to put the prong collar on her because she has some fears. So I wanted to kind of stay away from that a little bit. Not that it's not a good tool. It's a very good tool. Um, but I thought I would try something different. So what we have on her is a transitional lead. I'm not sure if I talked to you about it or not. Um, but the way this works is, I know, you see her nose is a little scratched up. It was healing so well. And then she had pooped in her kennel and then she was trying to get rid of it and she ended up eating it and then she vomited it up this morning yes you did she's like it was not fun um the funny thing is she didn't bark last night so I didn't know she had poop um <laughs> but anyway um so I don't know if you can see see it's the collar itself is or the leash itself is almost on like reins on a horse um, so it gives us complete control of her head and she does not have a leverage from her chest or her neck to pull. Um, therefore she doesn't want to pull <laughs> and she's not fighting it too much. Every once in a while she'll kind of rub on my leg or look up at me, like take this off or go down to the ground and kind of rub it on the ground a little bit. But for the most part, huh? yeah, I know, um, or paw it just like she did. Uh, but for the most part, she gets it. Uh-uh. Come on. Good girl. So, she is causing any pressure she gets on the collar. Um, rather than me tugging her, pulling her, uh, anything like that. So, it's all up to her and how she wants to walk. And every time she pulls, her nose gets pulled down just a little bit. And that's it. That's the only correction she's getting from it. So... Um, seems to be a really good tool. Look, she's, she's all excited. There are cows across the street, so, <laughs> uh, let's go. And she's here, and there's a wind chime on the house across the street. Let's go. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. So, I spend a lot of time, and we're going to work all day today on this. Let's go. Um, just getting her to refocus and not be hyper concerned about everything. Um, so we spend a lot of time giving her a lot of uh, verbal feedback, um, positive reinforcement through just our voice. Um, and then when she's doing really good, I'll go down and I'll give her some scratches and give her some lovies. And then she goes inside <clears throat> and then we do a, a full body rub down where we scratch her from head to toe. She loves that. <laughs> um, so she's, she's kind of back on track other than she's still struggling holding uh, the sit for very long and the placemat for very long. I think that's going to be a long-term practice at home in her own environment, um, but she will get there. I'm fully convinced that she will get there. It's just gonna take some time and practice uh, but she knows what she's supposed to do, don't you? The only command um, that we have not done is down. Um, and I just don't, I don't think it's worth um, having her do that. I, I don't, I just don't really see a need for it. So everything else she knows and we've worked on. Um, the other thing we've been working on today because we've been going in and out because of the cold um, and we'll continue doing this today is working on having her wait at the door and not bolt to the door. So when we're going in, she's less likely to sit. So we've just been doing a wait, which means she can't go towards the door. When we go out, so when the floor is nice and warm, <laughs> on the inside, I make her sit. And she has to hold that sit until I say it's okay for her to come towards the door. So we'll go ahead and do that. We're, we're going right to the door right now. So we're gonna do wait. Let's see how she's not going in yet. Okay. 
and then I give her direction. She can go in and she's like, yay, it's warm in here. It's super cold outside. Yeah, and see how she's, she seems okay with this. Um, I think this is the appropriate tool for her. So I'll give you information on uh, where to buy it. Unfortunately, we do not have any um, in stock. We just don't sell them here as of right now. Hopefully in the future, we'll be able to do that. Um, but what I'm gonna do in the meantime, so you've got something to walk her on, is I'm gonna loan you this. Um, and then once you purchase yours, you can either mail it back or just drop it by. Um, I'll just make a note that you're gonna borrow one so I know who has my equipment. So what do you think? She's like, the heater is on. <laughs> She's like, I don't like the heater. We've been getting better with the heater though. We've been able to walk by it. Let's go. Um, she doesn't want to stay by it, but she'll walk by it. Not close, but <laughs> this is probably as close as I've gotten her. But still, that's an improvement from when um, the first day I turned it on and she was like, holy crap, that's in here? And she realized, uh-oh, the scary heater is on. Yeah, yeah. Good girl. Good girl, Ben. <laughs>